Well, we're not in the basement drum lab, but we are unpacking what's going to the basement drum lab. So, uh, big day today. Just got these today. So, we're going to unbox these out here on the porch. There's drum number one, the eight inch tom. The mount's bigger than the drum. All right, this is drum number two, but this will actually be tom number four once the uh, set gets put together. Here it is. I had already unpacked the snare a little earlier in the day. So that's the six and a half by 14. Gorgeous finish. Now we get to open the second bass drum. Batter head, razor head. Pack them so well. And just like my other base, got it without the Tom mounting hardware since everything's on a rack. So uh, I was really afraid that the wrong base was going to come after waiting all this time. So really glad to see they got the right base. And there she is. Look at that finish. So beautiful. So we'll get them down and in, uh, in the basement drum lab and put them on and see how things look. Well, I gotta say, I think it's gonna work. Um, wow, that just went together a lot better than I thought it would. And uh, I'm pretty excited about the whole thing. It's got the snare right in there and still have to do the uh, second base. Gotta put the heads on and the lugs on. That's just time consuming. I'm kind of out of time for the day, but uh, proof of concept. I'd say it's there, and uh, if you followed one of my earlier videos where I was talking about my Tom Over idea, that way you see drums and you don't see rack, you know, from the front of the, of the rack, and um, I did have to curl the drums in. If you, if you look at how they're all mounted, the mount's out here on the side and the Tom's kind of curled around there. And uh, I mean, I think I still have some things to work out and uh, I definitely can get this snare tucked in just a little bit better to bridge that gap because now the bar is between me and the drums. And, uh, but overall, I gotta say not, not bad. I, I don't know, I'm still gonna work with it. And let me tell you what I have not ruled out is going with a left-handed, what would look like a left-handed setup, reverse all of this except for this floor tom would stay over here on the right side and everything else would flow in this direction and I would still have my hi-hat and my ride on my right side. So if you think of a, a, a reversed Simon Phillips setup kind of thing, and uh, that is still, I, I can't convince myself that it won't work. I know it's just weird, you know, for, as a right-hander, I've played this way for so many years but I want my left hand to have more to do when I'm playing. And so that's what's had this whole idea of having the rack, you know, kind of go in this direction and get the toms more off to that side. And uh, I, I think that would resolve the other issue of having the hi-hat over here. It would be more like a traditional setup and it wouldn't be kind of tucked in the middle of the toms. So I don't know, more to come later, but uh, thanks for being a part of this whole journey anyway. Take care.